that we want to crawl certain data uh, we are using tech ui to crawl the data so let's say you run a particular command called tech ui moe dot tech it will run the browser let me bring it to the front okay and because this browser this web content has all this publicly available data so as a data science experiment or ai experiment it might be a good way to get your hands dirty and see how you can use tech ui to automate certain things on the web so what i did was i asked tech ui to visit this website this is manually done by checking the total we declare certain variables to be used uh, and then we looked for i to the total which is uh, 858 and then we had a series of echoes to do debugging we defined this variable called fax and email because the content on the website sometimes has fax and emails that are missing so i need to declare them in order not to run into an error so what we do is we check <coughs> the existence of a particular thing so in this case we are checking if the title exists which is this fella uh, so if the title exists then we will read this particular field to this x path to the title and the next thing to do is to check if the ta the address exists which is always existing la. so or the address is always there so what we do is we ask tech ui to check if the existence of this x path <coughs> exists and then you will read the data to a variable called address so we do the same we iterate through the phone check for the icon if the if the if it's an icon of a phone or an icon of a fax then it will do corresponding actions so i think here the phone is uh, by default i think everybody has phone so it will just check for the existence of it then it will write to the variable called phone this part is where it starts to get a bit tricky but it can be done uh, what we do is sometimes certain data in the box in the centers they have fax but no email or email but no fax or have both so which is why to cater for all the cases we need to write a if statement to check if the field in is in existence and then read the particular icon and then uh, assign it to a class icon class and then we check if the icon class index of this particular name of the printer so this this thing is called a uh, icon of a printer then if it is <coughs> equals not equal to negative one that means the facts exist so then we will ask tech ui to read the data that's on the on the right of it lah. so this is the data <coughs> so similarly if let's say it's not a fax that but it is just an email we will do the same thing so that's why there's an if and the else if statement and sometimes so this this is the the part which is reading the third field lah. so most of it have a third field so if certain centers have a fourth fourth data field then we need to do the same loop again which is to check if the fourth data the fourth icon exists if it exists then do the same thing it's a repeat of the earlier code and this is an attempt to see whether it can run faster but it doesn't doesn't seem to run faster so i was trying to ask tech ui to check if it's if it's not in existence you notice that tech ui will pause for a while uh, so I thought that if you can do an else statement it can be faster but it appears to be not faster so i need to re-examine how to make the algorithm uh, quicker and then we do a js uh, push of all this data so this is to check for the row counter and the table counter we multiply them so this is like if, if they say this is in table table 2 and it's scrolling through the row counter so, so let's say now it's doing the row 10 so 10 times 1 will be or 10 times 2 will be 
10 times 2 will be 20 oh this is this is still wrong huh? oh, yeah. okay never mind later on I will check the data then we will write each line to this particular file and then we do a console log to see what it is this is to increment so we, we, we increment the row counter because every time it runs it will run through the loop so uh, one two three you know it will try to run so we increment the, the loop the row counter so sometimes it runs from one it's supposed to run from one to eight five eight so when it runs to 20 that time we ask it to increase so you increase to 21 because all the data is trapped in a set of 20 so uh, because it's something that i can use so if the row counter becomes 21 then we will ask tech ui to click on this icon this icon here and then we will increment the table counter and then reset the row counter back to one and then wait for two seconds because sometimes the browser or the website will take some time to load the data so we, we wait because we want to make sure that the data is loaded properly then before it start to crawl again so in less than uh, 80 lines of code you can do this in uh, in a program